A moment of incredible will and strength. 28-year-old Diane Vickis is resolute in her mission to regain the active lifestyle she once enjoyed. So good. I was a three-sport athlete in high school and then played soccer, lacrosse are my main sports, and then I played volleyball and, and track. Diane, who played Division I lacrosse for Brown University, ran marathons, an all-around fitness inspiration, was once on the other side wow, of efforts good. like this. I really love helping people. I was a physician assistant up in Syracuse, New York. I really loved it. It's like my dream job. A dream that was put on hold in the summer of 2020. The surgical PA had just wrapped up four 12-hour shifts. Seeking respite, she climbed the ladder to her Syracuse rooftop to enjoy the sunset. It would be the last time she would walk on her own. On the way down, I slipped and fell off the ladder. I didn't lose consciousness. I stayed pretty calm, just kind of knowing that my life was never going to be the same. Diane says she broke her ribs, punctured a lung, and instinctively knew she was paralyzed. Unable to reach her phone, she waited. So I just laid there, kind of knowing my fate. As fate would have it, she was found by a nurse. Rushed to the hospital, she called her parents, both ICU nurses themselves. There was no need for explanation. Diane says they all knew what could lay ahead. And that's when I just broke down crying. That was really scary to go back to surgery. Obviously, it was a really big surgery, and I knew how big of you know, the risks were. Spinal surgery was just the beginning. COVID severely limited visitors. Diane was paralyzed and essentially on her own. I really did have to be my own advocate. My parents weren't there. I was intubated and I had this board with the alphabet on it and then a pen and that's how I would communicate with people. They told me that my spinal cord is in shock. They were really hopeful that, you know, everything went really well, but we won't know until the swelling goes down. She was transferred to Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital in Boston, where she spent three months undergoing intense physical therapy. Hope for renewed feeling has faded from her immediate focus. Diane remains unable to feel anything from the chest down. Her goal now, living her best life, whether feeling returns or not. Just one year after her fall, she is already on the bike, on the water, rock climbing, and fulfilling her summer goal of getting back to her athletic form. Mostly, I'm just looking to regain my independence. I want to just do as many adaptive sports as I can. This is nice. One of her favorite activities, hiking, climbing trails to reach incredible views. It is the one thing she didn't dare dream of until now. She is regaining her freedom thanks to the Freedom Chair, an off-roading wheelchair designed by MIT grads at the Boston-based company Grit. Teamwork. Oh, thanks like to it. a Challenged Athletes Foundation grant, she is navigating nature again. Diane, who even in the hospital remained a vision of positivity and optimism, doesn't sugarcoat it. It's tough. And the moments, well, they come. The key is having a support system that's huge, having good friends, great family, and then just you know allowing yourself to have those moments and then uh, pick yourself back up and move on from them. Diane says whatever path you're on, whatever struggle is in front of you, don't get stuck. Find the blessing in moving forward. You can be better and, and overcome it and make yourself a better person, or you can be better and let it like completely overcome you. And that's a choice that you have. And if you put a smile on, it can make you feel a lot better. Well, there we go. Mm. Nicole says uh, Diane is just pure light mm. to be around, and you get that you sense absolutely that. from spending time with her. Uh, she did say, Diane, that last year was tough. Um, her family lives in New York. Obviously, because of COVID, they couldn't be around as much. But she says friends in her apartment building stop by all the time. Yeah, she's just out. knocking stuff off of her yeah. list. She recently just got into the pool for the very first time, and she's very anxious to get back to work in some sort of capacity. Sure, she'll be there soon. Up next, an aspiring pastry chef tastes success.